All right, as you've seen, uh, the Amber Alert started about 26 years ago. It was an important system that all came out of this case of a little girl in Texas. It is used now in 50 states and has helped bring hundreds of children home safely. Janelle Rasmussen has spent more than 20 years in public safety and was responsible for Minnesota's Amber Alert plan, and she is joining us live tonight. Janelle, appreciate your time. I want to go back to something that we saw in that piece a moment ago. Marky pointed out that one issue that we continue to hear as we cover missing cases, particularly involving kids, is the Amber Alert system is different in each state. They establish their own criteria. Would the alerts be more effective if the criteria was universal across the country? Right, good question. Yes, we have a nationally uh, set of criteria that is uh, federally recommended criteria that we have for all of the states in implementing their Amber Alert plans. So they use that federal criteria to uh, develop their own uh, criteria when they put their programs into place. So the argument, I guess, that I'm hearing, and I do understand that the overuse, the oversaturation is a concern. If you put it out all the time, people stop listening to it. But many believe that what's the harm in putting out an Amber Alert if it results in a child coming home? So what's the disadvantage in some cases? The, the little boy in Idaho, Idaho who we have covered, um, he, he doesn't have an Amber Alert in his case. Right. The Amber Alert is reserved for cases that meet that very strict set of criteria. And so whatever criteria each state has, they have to follow that criteria when activating the system. However, most states do have a secondary system set up where they can send out information to the media in cases where a child is missing or an adult is endangered and we need to get that information out to the public. So we have the missing um, endangered advisory as well where information is shared and we can ask for the public's help in locating a missing child. One element of this in 2006, the CART team was established. It stands for Child Abduction Response Teams. Uh, what role do they play in the system and in bringing kids home? Yes, child abduction response teams or CARTs are a multi-agency, oftentimes multi-jurisdictional uh, response team made up of professionals in the community who are trained and equipped to respond to searches and recoveries of abducted and endangered children. And they go through some pretty extensive training and tabletop discussions where they plan and prepare for these cases so that when they have to go out to a child abduction, it isn't just the first time that they're actually going through one. They've prepared for this and they're ready to respond with all of their, their partners that they collaborate right within those cases. You know, every system, Janelle, even the good ones need reviews. They need to evolve over time. What are some of the things that happen in terms of reviews with the Amber Alert system, training for those involved? Um, how often does that happen? Yes, on, on an app, annual basis, the National Amber Alert Plan uh, reviews all state Amber Alert plans. We conduct a review of these of these and submit a report so that, that all of the Amber Alert coordinators throughout the United States can um, have that information, evaluate the, what they're doing on a local level, and make changes ad, as needed. In addition to that, most of the states also operate on a basis where each time they have an Amber Alert activation, they conduct a briefing following that activation where they include all of their partners who were involved in that activation and they evaluate what exactly happened and make changes to their programs based on, um, on any feedback that they get. In addition to those things, we also have what's called a family roundtable where we bring in family members of kids who have been abducted or murdered or are missing and we ask for their input and we have them um, help us to evaluate the process that we have with Amber Alert and help us to develop training and technical assistance that we put out to our partners in the field. And oftentimes those family members also help us in conducting that law enforcement training. 99% success rate. I mean, the program works uh, when it is used. Uh, Janelle, the public plays a key role in all of this in bringing children home safely. What is your message to people out there when they get that alert on their phone, on their television, on the radio? Yeah, the, the whole purpose of the Amber Alert system is to get information out quickly to the public to ask for their help in locating a missing endangered child. And so every time that information goes out to the public, we just want them to take it very seriously and to contact law enforcement if they have any information that can help in the safe recovery of that child. The system works, it saves lives, all started uh, with Amber in Texas. Janelle, thank you for your time. We appreciate the work you're doing. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.